this is Storm. We've, we've, uh, he's getting ready to go home. We just got him on the A30. Um, it's a busy old road, this A30. And it's narrow, obviously. Um, we're just, just getting his head carriage right. So he's got some... He's wearing some... Side reins, I suppose you'd call them, but they're not really like they. Well, they are side reins, yeah. But the way we fit them on, they might not be just the same. But it's just to bring his head down. But if you look, they're very, very, very slack. I mean, if I turn his head slightly here, you might be able to see the, uh, how slack they are just swinging around. So it's just to touch him. Quite a bit of, uh, of travel, really, but he's got some tushies coming through, and they just won't break the skin. I mean, they're, they're like tent poles underneath sticking up. You know, the skin's white on the top, and they just won't break um, break through. You know, it's like a baby teething. Now it doesn't bother him. Um, Say, you know, there's nothing there that I can say to he's terrible, you know. Oh, my baby boy, on you go. Um, there's nothing I can say that he's, you know, he's not in any discomfort. But the way we've set the side reins up, is if he lifts his head to come back, he's bit, he's got, only got a soft you know, one of our new Wender in rubber boots in, which are fantastic. I mean, they seriously are good. The other thing I want to say to you is if you like what you do, please subscribe, share, and, you know, comment if you've got anything, you know, to say about what we're doing, you know, good or bad. I mean, that's lovely. We learn for it. You know, you can't get anything wrong until you get it right, can you? Or I say you should get it. <laughs> what I mean is, you've got to get it wrong to get it right. Otherwise, you wouldn't know you got it right. So, he's just going along now. I wish I could take a side shot of him. Because he's, um, he's not using these at all. But what he does do, when he lifts his head, he just prevents the bit that's rising in his mouth too much, so it's hanging in his mouth. He can't, uh, I mean, look, there's you know, nothing on him at all. He'll go straight past his trap, he won't be trapped, you know, he's getting on like lovely. Nice horse, he's a bit quirky, a bit hard to understand. You know, he, he, you know, he's one of them horses, I say, they come here to be trained. One that's come here to train us, do you know what I mean? She is a little bit off the wall. You know, the way his head works, he's a little bit funny. Go on, babe, back you go. See, like with these things. The reason he, he just look at that then a little bit. There's no sweet worries. They've got the chains hanging down the side. It doesn't always come out on the, on the film. Quite, you know, you can hear a little clock and pop. That makes him lift his head. Also, the other thing today, this is his first time out on his own with the rain, and that is really good for us to do because every car that comes past is making a noise on the surface of the road, you know, surface noise. And that's absolutely fantastic, you know, it's really good. Come on, baby boy, up you go. Um, because obviously, if you get caught in a, you wouldn't necessarily go out in the rain when you when you get your horse home, but you might well get some. Um, come on, my baby boy, up you go. Yes, you are, you little rascal. Come on, baby, pick it up, Good boy. That's it, my dog. So you know, you get the puddles, the splashes. Always as they come past. 
I mean, you're gonna, you know, people maybe laugh at this, but the other day I was out with some horses and uh, there was a big lorry standing by the side, a big Arctic lorry. And he had his wipers on when it was raining heavy. And then, <laughs> Every time his wipers come over, so it heals right on the edge. <laughs> you know, the surface off the screen, as it wiped it across, it was going down his ears and over his head every time. Right? Well, that was raining, it was like a, you know, like a heavy shower, if you like, from the time it's come across the screen. But he's just going along the nice. And also the other thing is he spent a great deal of time in repairs. The reason being he was very heavy when he came, I mean extremely heavy. Um, and he's lost weight and he's replaced it with muscle. You can see the nice muscles that he's pulled in there. I think you can see them anyway if you're going along here. Um, I can't get his head completely straight. Um, I want him to come over a little bit. But I'm not going to do worry about that today. But what I am going to do, come over baby boy. What I am going to do is I'll make another film about this. A lot of people have trouble keeping their horses head straight. You know, they're laid to the left, they're laid to the right. So before I start pulling on his mouth, or giving him any extra pressure, although we have a very light contact, what I'll do is just check his neck and some other bits and pieces. Um, you know, before we go, okay, come over here, keep your head straight like that. You see what I mean? If I keep his head straight there, he'd run up onto the curb, you know what I mean? You see what I mean? I'll tighten it, but I'll let it go. Look, it comes out. Now, it's always always a lot of the time when he's been in the pair he's laid with his head off to that side and we've put it down to his tushies coming through which I don't think we're particularly wrong but now you can you, as I say you can rub your thumb over the top on the skin of the actual tush and he's sticking up sticking up like that just right through the gum and I think to myself you know you don't mind me pushing that so I know it's not sore, but the discomfort might not be on the skin at the top, it might be in the jaw itself as the tooth growing and coming. It won't be a great deal of pain because you'd be offering food etc, wouldn't it? But it could be discomfort. And, you know, we tend to forget things like that. If you've got a little niggly uh, toothache, not really toothache, but a little tiny bit like that, you go, oh my gosh, you know, it can't make it horrible. Come on, my baby, up you go. So these big old arctics here, you see, come on, baby, people, they make a lot of noise when they go past, you know, a lot of noise. Come on, baby. Come on. Good boy, don't worry about that. Come on, my baby, up you go. So he would, which I could show you on film, he'd go right past arctics and more problem. But today, because it's heavy rain, Obviously, the road, you know, the road surface, the noise is entirely different. So he now sees the lorry or the truck as something completely different, something that might attack him, bite him, or just <laughs> whatever he thinks. Come on, my baby boy, you're all right, good boy, good boy, good boy. Now, just showing you there, using my voice, I can talk him past me. Now you say to me, well, why don't you do that? Well, yes to do but on the other hand I want him to find his own courage his own confidence in what he's doing I'm confident to come past here I can do that come on baby I've got a big old noise coming past now a big lot of noise there you go Come on, Another one there. Come on, mate. Well, the noise is deafening. Not deafening, no, that's silly. But the noise is great 
with the noise of the tide. So you can't tell it off. Anyway, can you tell it off? You can't say stop being so silly. It's not silly to him. No. Definitely not silly to him. He's saying whatever it is. I've never heard. If, if you had an Arctic coming out the road and it lost the exhaust and it looked like an Arctic, you know, a semi. Right, exactly like that. Come on, mate. 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 Come on, Right. I don't want to be out in this pool down the rain, but it's still good training. And it is raining quite heavy. You see here, you see the spray coming off these walls and the trucks coming down, you know. And then you'll get another time when if you, if you get water laid across the road, I mean normally the road's got a camera on it takes it away both sides, doesn't it? But if you get a flat area, you know, they can spray water right over. But well, it's best when they're in training to deal with this now. Because once they've experienced something and know what it is and understand it, they haven't got a problem anymore. You know what I mean? Their problem goes away. So he's just ticking away nice here like this. People would say that um, he's sweating. He actually is not sweating. <laughs> People have said that to me before. But what we put round there, round there bridging, um, is a bit of cream. You know, it can be other cream normally we use. Um, so that this, sometimes when you're out in the rain. To learn and hear all these noise. You look at the tyres, look at it. spray coming off the tyres of these horses. They're not doing anything, they're not being horrible, or are they at all? They're just travelling at a safe speed in the rain. And the spray to come off the tyres, especially big lorries. I mean, obviously, some of the lorry rules tyres could be three foot tall, but even bigger in some cases. But when they're three foot tall, Feel the spray coming off the face. Body, you know. Or oh, his big body in this case. <laughs> Come on, my baby boy. spring water they're not far from here but they always have like a big powerful engine to think the weight they carry so it sounds more like an arctic or something like that that's lovely you see big rapid trailer Come on, baby, 
Come 